come let us prepare make some good profits today market lifters very big clue here i will be talking a little bit about that in today's video because i hope you saw this i'll be talking a little bit about that later after we run through today's intraday trade setups yeah, now quite a choppy day, but as long as you were looking out for structure and algorithms, you would be able to find profits in the chart. Now start of the day, 940, right here. Take a look, right, we identify the particular algorithm here. At the breakout of this red 449, beautiful first trade here. I did not take this trade. I was waiting for more liquidity to be built, but this is a very important algorithm I want to show you that we managed to identify early in the morning here giving us that selling continuation structure. So if you did not manage to catch this trade, that's absolutely fine because we saw the control algorithm and all you had to do then was to wait for the continuation structure here. Now, if you noticed, we had this selling continuation structure here in this blue channel and we started forming this orange algorithm here. And all you had to do was to wait for that breakout yeah, beautiful breakout of this pink 448 at the break of this channel here. Yeah. And you would have still caught some of the trade here. Yeah. So this would have been a very good first trade of the selling continuation structure and see how the chart quickly reclaimed this orange 448 here yeah, as we broke past this very important yellow algorithm. See how the chart managed to break out of this yellow algorithm. I'll be talking a little bit about that later because the market formed that intraday buying channel right here. And all we had to do then was to wait for at 10, 12, we were preparing ahead. You have to wait for the breakout of this red 449 here. Take a look, beautiful. Once again, another beautiful trade of this red 449. Once we saw the larger orange channel that was breaking out, and if you managed to take this trade, you would have also seen a very beautiful selling continuation structure all the way down here as well. Now thereafter, very importantly, I want to show you something on the 30 minute chart here, right? I mentioned this to members in the morning. You have to be looking out for that possible tapering. Previously, we had that selling continuation in this green algorithm here. And I told you specifically, you need to be looking out if we do start tapering here, any clues of tapering. And you see how the market has started tapering at this orange algorithm. I told you to look out for this orange algorithm here and see how we managed to taper right here. So at this point here, when the market started reclaiming this orange 448 level, that's a very important level. And that's exactly what happened here at 1016, right where I mentioned where you see this orange channel that started to taper. And I was showing you here on this particular tapering channel here as well. Now, once you see the channel started tapering off this orange 448 you have to start preparing for that breakout of that channel here right so at that point here you see that the breakout is happening on the one minute chart where you also see the tapering happen on the one minute chart as it is on the 30 minute chart which i told you you have to start preparing for as well so let me bring it back here 837 take a look here 837 pre-market i told you you have to be looking out for that channel tapering here at a 30 minute chart here right i mentioned about this particular tapering channel you have to pay attention to so back to this 1116 we were already prepared because we understood how to be identifying the algorithms and preparing for the breakout right here now this breakout required more liquidity to be built so if you understood how to be looking out for this you will be able to understand how the market built more liquidity at this 1209 right here. Let me show it to you again. When we had that channel here at the breakout right here, right? You understood this breakout here. We were waiting out for that inverse head and shoulder pattern to form. Now this inverse head and shoulder required that deeper liquidity here to form a secondary inverse head and shoulder pattern to break out of this orange channel here. And it required another liquidity building here of this same algorithm if you pay attention it's the exact same algorithm so if you caught the trade from orange 448 all the way to guess where our five day moving average here if you understood how to be identifying the algorithms and structure here we were preparing for this at 12 o'clock right here if you understood what to be looking out for here with this particular algorithm here so thereafter 
you realize that the market started chopping here and your runners shouldn't be even threatened as long as you set your alerts at 4.49 red here it shouldn't even be a concern your runners will probably run all the way to the end of the day at this yellow 4.50 look beautiful where the five day moving average closed for the day right there so if we take a look at this again and let me show you if you were to understand the algorithms and structure right here we had that selling continuation right at the start of the day and we saw that bounce that gave us this buying continuation that we saw the breakout here and that gave us another selling continuation and from here you can see that intraday buying channel now this is a very important channel i will talk a little bit about this channel so hold your horses there and you notice that this particular selling is actually tapering right it's a weakening selling so once this selling has started to weaken you look out for that potential reversal of this 448 here which is also where the 30 minute chart is also tapering and you realize that the market needed to build more liquidity right here after the breakout from the intraday channel and with that build of liquidity right here you were looking out for that inverse head and shoulder pattern again another beautiful trade right here and the market needed to build more liquidity but never threatening your previous entry right here as it waits to build liquidity for another inverse head and shoulder pattern and we started chopping here before we saw the buy the exact same algorithm all the way to the end so if you can understand this if we take a look and see how the market has been building liquidity throughout this entire few hours here to bring us out in this intraday buying channel right here and this will be very important i want you to pay attention to this so members who did well today despite the very choppy conditions were able to identify the algorithms and structure take your trade setups based on that because you were able to prepare ahead you do not over trade you were looking out for good trade setups take your profits some of you called it an early day very wise but otherwise you were able to be looking out for that structure and the algorithm so well done it's only a monday there's no need to over trade for the week ahead now where do we go from here now firstly importantly at the daily chart i want you to pay attention at the very important trend indicators here right the bottom bollinger still trending upwards we see how the five day and the 20 day has started crossing here now this means nothing yet you have to always remember you cannot be using trend indicators as trade indicators right because there are occasions previously as i mentioned how the 5 and 20 has been crossing intermingling with each other and in the end of the day the market still needed time to consolidate before choosing a direction so you cannot just be making a trade decision just because it has crossed for one day there are many factors involved you have to be looking out for certain structures so this is another very important trend indicator if you don't know what i'm talking about please watch yesterday's video i explained a little bit about the entire macro structure i also mentioned about this green algorithm as well and you should see some confirmation uh, but more importantly with the bottom bollinger trending upwards the likelihood of this testing the bottom bollinger is very high especially if the bottom bollinger starts to trend towards the green algorithm right here I talked about very importantly in order for this to hit down you would probably need to see something like that before it hits down right so there are so many confirmations that you need to pay attention to here so for context you have to watch yesterday's video and today very importantly i want to be showing you some of the very key structures that we have identified in today as we prepare ahead because the market will make a decision on Thursday at least where we have the CPI and Friday's PPI report as well. So the market will certainly prepare itself to make a decision then by Thursday. So pay attention to that. Now at this juncture here, I want you to take a look that we have this intraday buying channel that's formed right here. So this was today's intraday buying channel. Beautiful, isn't it? But if you notice, this was the same yellow algorithm that the market has been adhering to in this trading range right here now very importantly at this point here where you see the five day and the 20 day moving average and with the market chopping right here without a clear indication of the buying continuation you need to pay attention to this following structures here firstly 
as I mentioned, because we defend at the bottom of the range due to this orange tapering channel here, right? The first thing you have to look out for buying continuation is if we retest the 20 day moving average. And if we do, and we close the cup here, right? You want to be looking out for possibly that same blue old rhythm here that maybe we form a handle to bring us back up here. There's a gap to close. So if this happens, you look out for that gap as we continue in this buying continuation from this yellow algorithm here. That's the first things first, look out for that buying continuation structure. However, because we are in this particular intraday buying channel, there is a likelihood with this amount of liquidity built, right? The market is preparing this liquidity here for some reason as well. And with the five day moving average here with so much liquidity that's built here and you have the 20 day thing, the chance that we reject this range here, this would be a beautiful rejection here. And we continue that selling continuation that we see right here today, especially when the market still cannot break out of this orange selling algorithm here as the market can be building up liquidity in order to push further down as well. So you see amidst the chop, you have to be learning how to be looking out for profits, especially when the market is undecided. We are still trading within a very clear range here, right? So market will be building liquidity within this range before it decides to push up or push out of this 447 or this 452 red levels right here. So here at this point, you have to be looking out for buying continuation structures or understanding that rejection structures, especially when we retest the five day and 20 day moving average here. So please understand the exact trading range here. And if you were to be looking out for a breakout of this trading range here, especially with Thursday in sight and with us at the moving averages, five day, 20 day, sure, it's possible. You can take a strangle here as you try to be working out the possibility of the breakout of this range here, right? You understand the range You're in the middle of the range here where the moving averages are. Certainly you can take a strangle in anticipation for Thursday as we break out of range here. So that's definitely a possible play, but you have to be also looking out for that buying continuation structure, as I mentioned, and also understanding the intraday buying channel with the market building so much liquidity here. If we get a rejection, it will be a very beautiful one as well. Understanding the trading range, understanding the algorithms at play here and how we have tapered at the start of the day. So pay attention to this orange algorithm here and also this yellow buying algorithm here as well. So if you understand all these algorithm and you translate them intraday, you can find profits in the chart, regardless of whether the market is trying to chop and make a decision, always ways to make money as long as you understand the algorithms and structure. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you closer to opening bell.